It's been an exciting four years as mayor. We've made a lot of progress. When I took office, unemployment was above 10%. We made creation of jobs our top priority and unemployment rates have been dropping ever since. Today, unemployment stands at 3.8%. We've created more than 76,000 new jobs in San Francisco across a variety of industries and wage levels. We also invested heavily in our city, building the central subway, revitalizing Market Street, building new hospitals, reforming public housing, and starting construction on thousands of new housing units. Our newest neighborhoods are thriving. Our laboratories are brimming with new discoveries, and our companies are reshaping the way the world communicates, entertains, and does business. We're bringing the Warriors home to San Francisco. We're hosting Super Bowl 50. Our Giants have even won a couple more World Series in that time. So it's been a great time for San Francisco. But this success has created its own anxieties, as we all know. Too many San Franciscans have not yet fully shared in the growing prosperity of our city. Folks are worried about a great many things. Maybe they're worried about affordable child care, college for their kids, or they're worried about being evicted, or they're worried about their neighborhoods changing too rapidly. So as our economy has thrived, my focus has appropriately evolved. I'm focused on making sure this city remains a place for everyone. And that's why I'm running for re-election, to make certain that as San Francisco continues to grow stronger, every resident shares in its strength. We've set a goal of creating 30,000 units of affordable housing. We've already designated an unprecedented $1.3 billion towards that goal. And just this month, we announced a blueprint for nearly 11,000 new affordable housing units. On top of that, we had a campaign kickoff for our $310 million affordable housing bond, the largest San Francisco history. What a tremendous shot in the arm that bond will be to our efforts to preserve, replace, and build affordable housing. But the issue of affordability extends far beyond housing. For many, raising a family in San Francisco can simply be too expensive. And thanks to voters, we've been able to ensure universal pre-kindergarten for all of our four-year-olds in San Francisco. I'm also working with community leaders across the, st the city to create universal and affordable after-school and summer school programs for our kindergarten to eighth grade students. Our city budget dedicated an extra $690 million to help our public schools and our philanthropic community continues to step in with millions of dollars more for local schools. Making our city more affordable also means making sure that our residents have equal job opportunities and receive fair pay. I've been working with other city leaders to identify and eliminate barriers for women in the workplace. And as we strive to create more opportunity for San Francisco's middle class and working class families, we must also continue to help those who are struggling most, our residents that are living in poverty and the homeless. I have a renewed focus on addressing homelessness. We need to help those who need help. We need to find them shelter and permanent housing, and we need to intervene with those who would harm themselves or others. Earlier this year, we established a first-of-its-kind navigation center to help move homeless off the streets and into services and housing they need. It's a model that works. This week, we announced the plan to invest $3 million to open a new navigation center around the city to build on that successful model. We're getting things done, and there's a lot more to do. And be assured, I won't forget about jobs. I know success has brought new challenges, but we will not retreat on jobs because, honestly, the biggest income gap is between someone with a job and someone who is unemployed. Our city has experienced great change over the past four years, but what has not changed is our commitment to one another. We have always been a city where everybody belongs, and I want to make sure it stays that way, and that's why I'm running. I thank you, and I humbly ask for your vote.